this is effective for are the people like me who have trouble getting started. And once I realized that my thing is getting started, it's not completing, it's starting. And it's, you know, it's different from everybody that doing the first 2%, so whatever the, some sort of tiny, small action to get into motion will, is the answer if you're stuck and not starting. How are entrepreneurs like us daring bravely to build a stage, ditch the sweatpants, and step up to the mic? How do we create our own transformative events so we can get our message out into the world in a bigger way? It's not only profitable, but it's actually something we can be proud of. That's the question. And the answers are inside this podcast. My name is Sarah Pfeiffer. Welcome to Green Room Central. Okay. For the next few months, this podcast is going to be a little different. I, spoiler alert, am moving this summer, which is going to be so fun. And we're taking our sixth annual favor family road trip, summer road trip. And so because of all that, I knew my life was going to be crazy. And so I decided not to do interviews for you this summer. But what I wanted was for you to still get a Fresh Hot Now episode every single week. So I decided to look at my Audible and my uh, or my Apple Notes app, which is where I take notes on every book that I've read, and put together a book review series for you. And each week, I'm going to bring you a new book that I love and recommend. And hopefully, you'll find something in here that you want to pick up. So without further ado, here's this week's book. If you've ever struggled to get started, and I have too, the 2% rule is a game changer. So I want you to keep listening because we're going to talk all about how small, actionable steps can help you get unstuck and making real progress. This is, this is a really secret hack that you're going to want to know. So today we're going to talk all about the Momentum book by Evan Carmichael. The book is about, at its core, about taking bold action to push push past your limits and achieve really extraordinary results, like out of the normal results, and what achievers like us need to do and how to think. And I know there's lots of books like this out there, but there's not like this. And, And that's why I think everybody needs to read it, because it's got a lot of actionable tips to create momentum and play in a way that's more bold and bigger than you have in the past. I think that's why I love it. The the author is Evan Carmichael. There was a, if you go back a few episodes, he came on the show and we talked about this book a little bit along with his other book and other cool stuff. Go take a listen if you haven't already. But I think what I, what I want to highlight from this book, what was most helpful for me was he's got this concept called play bigger trigger words. So he's got these words that he has tagged that if he says that word either out loud or in his head, then he knows that's a thing that he's just going to have to go do because using that word indicates that he's only do not doing it because he's maybe scared or just in fear in some sort of way. And so the whole concept is you need to recognize the words you say to yourself that stop you from taking action and replace that limiting self-talk with uh, an empowering trigger word that would encourage the bold action that you really want to take or the the boldest, biggest version of you would take. You know, that whole concept of, of, of being more instead of doing more. And this is, this is kind of in that vein. But a really practical approach, I think. I think that being concept has been a really hard concept for me to grasp in the entrepreneurial mindset space. And this, I think, is a really tangible way to tackle it. And so, for example, if you hear yourself saying, I don't, in your head, like, I don't, I just, I don't want to do it, then that might be your trigger to, or like, that's not for me. That might be your trigger to explore or do the thing. So that's that concept, the the play bigger trigger word. 
Another thing. I love this one. He's got this, Evan's got this test called the boom, boom, boom test, which is basically if the thing makes your heart kind of like beat outside of your chest, like imagine standing backstage before you go on and you're nervous and your chest is like thumping. Well, like if if the thing that you're about to do, like maybe it's like leave a voice memo for someone that you want to have as a guest on your podcast or ask an investor to invest in your business or talk to someone at a networking event or whatever the thing may be or do a live a live event or uh, try that webinar for the hundredth time, then if it makes your heart go like thumping out of its chest, then that test is like that's a clear answer that that's a thing that you need to do because it's it's like yep (laughs) and that's that's probably the thing that you need to take immediate action on because it's it's for you and that's the sign I thought that was kind of fun probably my favorite tip from this book is the two percent rule so the whole concept is that most most people who this is effective for are the people like me who have trouble getting started. And once I realize that my thing is getting started, it's not completing, it's starting. And it's, you know, it's different from everybody that doing the first 2%, so whatever the, like some sort of tiny, small action to get into motion will, is, is the answer if you're stuck and not starting. And this has been transformative for me. I even printed it off and taped it to my, I stuck it to my computer computer monitor. So I'm always looking at it. I used to have this quote by Tony Robbins that said, uh, like, don't, you know, the way to get unstuck is to not, or the way to get into momentum is to not tolerate being stuck. And when I was reading this book, I had the aha that, actually stuck is not my problem that that isn't like moving past obstacles is not an issue for me the issue for me is the fear of getting started and what it means because i'm i'm a finisher and so i know like once i start something like i'm going to see it through and you know always feel i i tell myself that it feels hard to get started and so i replaced that quote by tony robbins with this one by Evan Carmichael on my monitor that I look at every single day. And I wrote, I typed out what you need is to get started and to get started, just do the first 2%. And that has been such a valuable reminder for me. And maybe it will be for you too, if starting is a place that you you, you frequently find yourself stuck at. So let's see here. What else do I want to share with you about this? I think, I think the coolest part is that this book pointed out a whole bunch of similarities that I have with Evan Carmichael, the author. Just his experiences as an introvert and a perfectionist really resonated with me. He's even got he's even got this tip about having a playlist. And I thought it was kind of silly, but I've tried it and it works. So I've always found music to be hard for me. For some reason, I don't have patience to cull through songs and find what the ones that I like. And I also have a memory that does not retain names of songs nor names of artists. So unless it's like Michael Buble, I, and maybe even Celine Dion, back in the day, I was obsessed. I probably won't know who is singing the song or what the song is called. And don't even get me started. I would never know the net, the album. And so I think... I put music in kind of like the hard column for myself and like just not for me. But, you know, with the advent of Spotify and playlists and like the easy heart button, been able to create liked songs list and then been refining it over the last few months since reading the book. And the way Evan says is to use it. I think he has one that's 100, like maybe 600 plus songs deep now. And he just uses it on shuffle. And any time where he needs to get into momentum or maybe he's down or maybe he's just waking up and it's really like feeling this like the slog uh, it's just feeling like a a slog he plays he just goes to the playlist and plays it and he 
His requirement for the playlist is that the song makes him smile or like move his body in some way, you know, like, you know, those songs that you've played where it makes your head nod or makes you smile or <laughs> makes you want to get up and dance. That's the requirement for the types of songs that go onto this playlist. And it really is just that in case of emergency, press here. And like I said, I've been testing it and it works and I think it's worth putting in the effort. And maybe you're not like me where playlists are hard, but even if they are, I would say it's worth it to have this tool in your toolkit because I think staying in momentum is what we need as entrepreneurs we need to keep going. And so we have to have all the tools in our toolkit, whether it's the Wim Hof breathwork app, or it's going for a walk around the block, or it's pushing play on this playlist, or it's getting a drink from your favorite coffee shop, or calling that friend who just sees you and your goals and like is the perfect charge of energy and get at them for you. Whatever it is, you need to have the list of tools readily available to you. And this should be on it as one of your tools because we have to stay in momentum because we have to keep going. That is the secret <laughs> of keeping going. So I hope that was helpful. This is a this is a gem. The thing is, it is only available in, I think it's like print or Kindle. And I'm an audible girl. So what I had to do in order to read this book was you're like, Sarah, then just buy the book and read it. No. What I did was I learned this super cool hack on my phone for recording or listening to audio. And so if you go into settings, and I think it's under accessibility maybe, and I think then it's spoken content. You'll have to Google it. But you can toggle on this button that stays kind of semi-transparent on your phone screen at all times and it will open up a menu and you can press play and it will speak what's on the screen. And in the Kindle app, when you use this spoken content feature, you can you can trick it and you can tell it to like keep turning the pages. There's a way, just Google it. Kind of like turn it on and then swipe forward and backward or something and it cues the spoken content feature to keep going. And it allowed me, and you can pick what AI voice <laughs> reads the book to you. And so that's how I got through it and was so glad I was able to read the book that way because it made it so much faster and easier for me to digest. Okay, go pick up a copy of Momentum. I love it. It's for you. Like there's just no question. There will be something in here that helps you get into and stay in momentum, which is what every entrepreneur like us needs. Let's reconnect same place, same time next week. I am going to talk about the book on a book on purpose. And I think this is going to be for anybody who is like not knowing exactly if they're living out their true calling. You're not going to want to miss it. I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for listening to the Green Room Central podcast. If you loved this episode, then please take a screenshot on your phone and post it to Instagram and be sure to tag at Sarah Pfeiffer and let me know why you liked it and what you'd like to hear or who you'd like to hear from in the future. That'll help me know what to create for you. The number one thing I'm asked by CEOs, whether it's their first event or their 20th, is Sarah, how do I get more butts and seats? And so I put together a guide for you. Head over to fillingevents.com for your free copy of 107 Ways to Fill Your Event. I want to help you quickly master event marketing and fill your events, even if you've never done it before. I've scoured the online business world and found 107 of my favorite strategies working right now to fill your next in-person or virtual event. Create the event promotion plan you need from these easy to implement, customizable strategies for free over at fillingevents.com. I appreciate your commitment to leveling up and learning the mindset and strategy of live events. Keep going, keep learning. If you want more, head over to greenroomcentral.com for show notes and all the links from today's episode.